am all shocked out, you guys. Hey guys, all right. Yesterday was Costco. Today is HEB and Walmart. I went to both stores and tomorrow will be Sam. So I hope you guys are in sitting down and you're ready for all these groceries. Like so many groceries. I'm gonna be vlogging on my vlog channel how we like put all these up and what our kitchen looks like, how full it is. And then again, at like the end of the month, hopefully we go through. Now some of this stuff is gonna last more than a month, but um, I'm excited to see like grocery and budget and all of that, how it works out. So behind me is Walmart. So I'm gonna show you guys Walmart and then I could not fit Walmart and HEB all on this like corner of my kitchen. So I'm gonna show Walmart and then I'm gonna cut for a second. You guys aren't even gonna know it and then it's gonna go into the HEB stuff. So at Walmart, we spent $244. It was like $243.60 or something like that. I'm just rounding it up, it's easier. So $244 now. Normally, I break out what we buy for the house and stuff and I just show you guys the groceries that we get at Walmart um, and HEB and Target and whatever haul I'm showing you guys, I just show you the food. But it's just easier for me to just show you everything. So you guys are gonna see exactly what a Walmart haul looks like for me when I go to Walmart because I did pick up quite a few things that are not grocery. So let's get into this and show you guys what we got. All right, here's the overview of Walmart 244. All right, so over here, I thought I had all the non-food items together, but this is all by itself. I got a pack of basic copy paper. This is the absolute cheapest. Um, my kids, they do have construction paper, but they don't have any white paper, and they've been using my printer paper. So I just got them their own white printer paper and it's cheaper so they're not using the paper that I actually need when I print out things. So that is for them. I did get a watermelon, the kids love watermelon, and I am filming actually some lunch videos this week, and I wanted to have my son try some different things in his lunches, so I saw this and I was like, you know what? We're getting some watermelon. Hopefully it's a good one. We shall see. Um, I pick this up every so often, often. Normally, I am a huge, just I drink water and that's it. But occasionally, I do get some fun things for me. And this is one of those, the Tropicana Essentials Probiotic Strawberry Banana. You guys, this is so good, like so good. But it is a little pricey, and it, especially because of the size that you get. So that's for me. Also for me, we have Hulu. We do not have cable. We have Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, and all those other little things. Um, and I've been seeing this commercial on Hulu lately for these Cokes. Um, and I know Diet Coke is not good for you. I don't, I'm not a big Diet Coke drinker, but I really wanted to try these flavors. So I just got one of each. Um, they had like four or five different flavors all over Walmart. Um, but I got this feisty cherry and ginger lime. So I wanted to give those a try. Got a thing of pizza sauce here. I got some of my, I've been good or not good, but these are not bad for you. They're a good alternative to some other things that you would have for snack. Like, you know, if you're just trying to watch what you eat, I think these are a good alternative to other things. So I did pick up some yogurts for myself. It's been a while since I've had these. This one is my absolute favorite, the Salted Caramel Crunch. I got the Almond Coco Loco, and these are only a dollar each, so not bad. S'mores. And then I got this Coffee Brownie Bliss. And then this one, the Chocolate Haze Craze, was actually... Um, clearanced out a little bit. So instead of a dollar, I paid 75 cents for that one. So I'll have to eat that first. And I don't know why it was clearanced out. I mean, it's still good until February 6th. So I don't know. I'll probably have that tomorrow. I got some mozzarella cheese and you guys, this is, let's see, it's two pounds, eight cups, but I want to say it was like $8. So definitely I should have picked this up at Costco because it is much cheaper buying it in bulk like that. So I'll have to remember that not to get it when I need this much. I was trying to save on fridge space, but just if I want to save on money, I need to get it from Costco from now on. But I did need some mozzarella cheese, so I got this big bag. I got some chuck pot roast right here, and then I got some stew meat. 
I got a huge box of Captain Crunch Berries. Um, I bought two boxes of cereal from the Dollar Tree. So we have those two and then we have this one and I'm not gonna buy any more cereal for the rest of the month because we have more, we have better things for the kids to eat. But I know some mornings it's just we want a bowl of cereal or they want a bowl of cereal. I'm not big on cereal. Um, so I did go ahead and get the giant size just so it lasts longer. I got some coffee creamer. Now I do not use this anymore. I either do not use any cream and just sugar or I will use heavy whipping cream so this is for my daughter um, and I'm not gonna if she uses all of this and it's not the end of the month I'm not buying her anymore because sometimes I feel like she overdoes it but she puts this in her hot chocolate and she has coffee sometimes in the morning um, so she'll use that creamer I got two different sizes of beef broth just because of the amount that I needed so I got this big family size one and then I got this other one some onion powder i am almost out and i use this to season almost every single meat ground up meat that i cook i got some french fries just the walmart great value brand all right these two things my husband actually picked up he's been watching a lot of cooking videos lately and i think he's making like some kind of queso with these i'm not sure i didn't really understand what he was telling me but i will definitely share it in the vlog um this is some melting cheese. It looks really good. And then Monterey Jack cheese and Rotel. I think those are the three things. I don't know if he uses anything else, any seasonings, but I know these are the things that he needed me to pick up from the store for him to make his little queso dish. I got just a small bag of mixed vegetables, some coconut milk, I did go ahead originally we are having lasagna and I'm going to show you guys the meal plan after all the food but we're having lasagna one night and originally I did not write down breadsticks because I was trying to be good but then I mean it was just like what a dollar 88 it was on clearance so I picked it up this is going to have to go straight into the freezer though because it is expiring today today is the second as I'm making this video um so this is just the Sam's Choice Roasted Garlic and Herb Blend Breadsticks. So I picked those up on clearance. I got two bags of chips for the kids. Um, we're having quite a few different Mexican dishes this month. And um, on this side, we're gonna have guacamole and salsa. So I thought the kids would enjoy some chips with that. I got two and a half gallons of milk. Two of the gallons of milk are for the kids and Mark. I don't, I'm not really a big milk drinker. I used to be when I was little, but I just, I drink coffee and water. That's all I drink. And the occasional uh, special soda and juice. Um, so there's gonna be a new rule. Once the two gallons of milk are gone, that's it. I'm not gonna buy any more for the week unless I don't need this for cooking. So I'm gonna pick up a half a gallon in case I need it for recipes and stuff. And by towards the end of the week, if I know I don't need the milk, then they can have at it. This can be for them. But I needed to have a way for me to save some for myself because there's been several weeks where they will drink all the milk before it's even Wednesday and then I needed that for a recipe and I have to you know, buy a little thing at the gas station and those just add up. So we're gonna try this new thing out and see if it works. So this one's mine for cooking and that is everybody else, the other five members of the house. I got some whipped cream and cheese spread. My daughter, my oldest daughter loves this on her bagels in the morning. Um, I needed some more brown sugar for recipes. I needed this small little vanilla yogurt for a recipe. And then I picked these up for me because they just sounded good. This one is a Yo Play limited edition white chocolatey mocha. And then this one is a Girl Scout cookie one, the caramel coconut, the Samoa, which is my favorite. So I picked those up for a little treat. I got a ton of eggs. So I know I got eggs at Sam's, but I needed more and they didn't have like this at Sam's. So I went ahead and picked it up at Walmart. I'm going to be using a lot of these in baking, in some freezer meals. Um, I'm also going to hard boil some of them. So I got this 60 eggs and this was a great price. This was just under $6 for 60 eggs. I think it was like $5.98. That's crazy. So I'm excited about finding this and I want to price compare it to Costco and um, the Sam's Club when they have it. But like this week or this time when I went to Sam's, they did not have this size. So I'm glad I found it at Walmart. I got some noodles here, just regular old spaghetti noodles and then whole wheat spaghetti noodles for two different recipes. Then we've got some hash browns. I've got these potatoes O'Brien with onions and peppers. I'm going to be making a breakfast casserole with, casserole with this. And then some shredded hash brown potatoes. 
I do have a Cherry 7-Up back here, and that is for a drink that I am going to be making for Valentine's Day. And actually, I forgot one item. It is still in the freezer. I need to pull that out. All right, here's the item that I had to stick in the freezer because it was starting to melt and I wanted to keep it in there until I was recording. So I just got this small thing of Bluebell ice cream. It's just homemade vanilla. And the drink is gonna be really easy. All it is is the Cherry 7-Up with some ice cream in it and then you use a Twizzler as your straw in the cup. I thought that would be really fun for the kids for Valentine's Day um, with their dinner. So that's just a little <laughs> drink that I'm gonna be making for them. I got two of these jars or glasses of pears to go with my cottage cheese because I am not planning on going to Trader Joe's anytime soon and I was just really craving it so I got that I got some grape jelly the Welch's natural and the strawberry um, we're out of grape and the kids have never had strawberry and I've mentioned this in other videos for groceries that I want to kind of start introducing slowly new things to the kids so they can start trying new things and speaking of new things these aren't new. We pick these up almost, I mean, just regularly. I got the Yo Crunch M&Ms and the Yo Crunch Oreos for the kids. But then I saw this, and this is a little bit better for them. Um, and this would be easier to pack in lunch boxes than this because this is just a little tube that they open where this one you have to mix it in and take, it's got a lot of different trash pieces. So we're gonna try this out and see if the kids like it. I've seen a lot of people haul these and say their kids love it. So we'll see, but I did get the birthday cake flavor because I thought that would kind of help sell them on at least trying it, saying that it tastes like birthday cake. So we shall see if the kids like this. Then over here, I got some saltine crackers. I need this for a recipe actually. And then I got a lot of Gatorade because again, I'm trying to buy as many of the non-perishable items up front for the month. So I'm not gonna be buying Gatorade anymore this month. I got the, um, I think it's the cherry, yeah, Glacier Cherry flavor for my daughter. This is really the only Gatorade flavor that she likes and she likes to take these in her lunchbox. And then I got this pack, the Thirst Quenchers. There's grape, strawberry, and berry for my husband and my other kiddos, the other three. Um, they like these. I also got this for my daughter, just as a little treat. Um, she likes this. Whenever she goes with me to the Dollar Tree, she gets this Mountain Dew Code Red, so I went ahead and picked one up for her since it's the weekend. Then my kiddos need some body wash. So now we're getting into the non-food items at Walmart. And these were on clearance. I've never tried these before, but they were 50 cents each. So I went ahead and picked up two, and it is the White Rain Bub Body Wash and Bubbles. And let's see, Pure Splash is, I think, the scent, I guess, tear-free, dye-free, paraben-free, body wash, and bubble bath gentle on sensitive skin. So we're gonna give that a try. I'm completely out of this, and I love this stuff. It works great when I have headaches, the Excedrin Extra Strength, so I needed some more. I got some things I'm going to be packing um, my son some Valentine-themed lunches this week. That way I can record it and share it with you guys next weekend. And so I got some of these little resealable bags. I thought they were super cute. There's a sloth on some of them and a dinosaur. I got those, and then I thought I had some heart cookie cutters, but I do not, and I really needed a small one. So they had tons to choose from, but this was the best bang for your buck. You get all of these different size. There's six different size hearts in here for 98 cents. So we went ahead and picked that up. Then I got my girls, my twins, they are starting to wear skirts and dresses more, and I just wanted them to have something underneath because again, they're not like sitting down and crossing their legs. They're laying on the floor and spreading their legs and you can totally see their panties. So I got them some shorts to wear under their dresses. These ones were on clearance and they thought they were super cute and colorful. They even have like sparkly glitter all over them. And I don't think they were clearance that much. They were originally $5.98 and yeah, this one says $4. I don't know if that's actually what it scanned for, but so I got one for each of my twins in that one. And then I got these kind of like gym shorts. Um, so they're not as tight as these other ones, but they're still gonna work. They were $2.97. I got a pair of gray and orange ones for one of my daughters and the pink and black for the other one. All right, you guys, then my husband needed some more of this dust off electronics 
uh, compressed gas it says and this just works really good on getting all the little dust particles out of all the like nooks and crannies on your electronics so he got that um, we needed some more spot shot our doggies had accidents and we used the last of it um, I have an order from Grove collaborative coming in but I couldn't find anything I was trying to find like a carpet stain remover but i couldn't find anything on their website so if you guys use them let me know down below if you know if they have anything like this any kind of like carpet stain remover because i'd love to try out something different through grove instead of just buying spot shot all the time but i did go ahead and pick this up because like i said we are completely out and i need to be prepared for if any more accidents happen that way i don't have stains i got some bubble wrap i've been looking for it at the dollar tree the last couple times but no luck and i just like to have this on hand if i'm sending out packages and stuff i'm already you know ready to wrap the more delicate items up then I got this over the door shoe organizer. I was trying to find one of like the plastic rubbery ones, but all they had were the cloth ones. This was actually says durable canvas. And I'm gonna be putting this up in my laundry room on the door so I can hold some of my cleaning products in there. That way, because I feel like under my sink, it's just too messy and I want it to be very visible and I'm going to start a chore system with the kids and I want things to be very easy for them to pull out in the products that they need to use. So I got that and then I got myself another box. I have two boxes of these plates already. I have a box of the red and a box of the white or cream and that's just not enough for our family of six. I want two more boxes. They did not have the cream so I went ahead and picked up one more box of the red and hopefully sometime soon I can find the cream because we are no longer going to be buying you know paper plates in bulk well we'll still buy like the holiday paper plates just for fun um, but for the most part I'm not gonna be buying the paper plates so I wanted to make sure I had enough of these plates being a family of six I only have eight plates right now because this box only has four in it it's a set there's 12 pieces in here but it's a set of four so it's the big plates the little plates and the bowl so I got this and this was a bulk of it so the total was 244 but this was $45 so really $200 on everything else this was 45 but that is everything from Walmart and now I'm gonna show you guys everything from HEB all right you guys this is heb so at heb i spent 113 dollars and i know this doesn't look like a lot for 113 dollars so i'm going to show you where the bulk of this money came from because it was a little pricey and unless we are just in love with it we probably won't buy them again so let me start over here i got some carrots and these are just like the bigger ones I'm gonna be doing something with these so I didn't buy the baby carrots like I normally do. I got a smaller bag of baby spinach. I did get some green grapes, a green bell pepper, two cucumbers, and this pack of bite-sized tomatoes. Then, this is one of the things that I wanted to buy in a smaller package because like I mentioned in my Costco haul, they were $25 for a pack of 18. And I know my kids like the chocolate one, but they've never tried these flavors and I didn't wanna buy the big pack of the vanilla or the caramel and then them not ending up liking it. So I was able to find them in four packs at HEB and I actually found a strawberries and cream one too. I have not seen these in a big pack yet. So I got four of the, or three of these, four packs and they were $7.99 each. So that's kind of pricey for the four. Um, but again, I wanted them to try these flavors. So these are the premier proteins. I got the vanilla, the caramel, and the strawberries and cream. The other thing that I picked up that were pretty pricey and unless Mark and I just love them and we're going to substitute like a meal with them or something, we probably won't get them again. But I really wanted to try them after reading about them um, when we were researching keto and low carb and stuff like that. And that are that is the Quest Bars. These were $1.98 each. That is pretty pricey. So this was what, $12? Yeah, I got six. So it was $12 just for these bars. So that's a little little pricey like I said but we really wanted to try them out so these top three are the ones that I picked out because I'm going to eat them in the morning with my coffee I got a cinnamon bun or a cinnamon rope 
I got a blueberry muffin and a banana nut muffin. And then these are the three that my husband picked out because he's gonna have them as like an afternoon snack. So he went more of like a dessert route. And that is, he got the cookies and cream, the strawberry cheesecake, and the chocolate chip cookie dough. Again, these were $1.98 each, so that's kind of pricey. For the rest of our groceries, um, I wanted to get, again, I'm trying to buy as much up front for the month as possible. So I did pick up another one of these. I got one at Walmart, or I got two at Walmart, but they didn't have the chocolate chip cookie dough. So I saw it at HEB, I grabbed that. We did get some honey, and this is the most local to us. It's supposed to help with your allergies Allergies if you have a little bit every day. And um, we've all been having a lot of tea lately. So this one is from Austin, which we're in San Antonio, or right outside San Antonio. So that is not too far. I got some ricotta cheese. I got these Fiesta Flats. Um, we are gonna be having tacos one night, and my daughter, Pearl, requested these. We had these not too long ago, and she absolutely loved them. I got these whole roasted cashews with sea salt. I need this for a recipe. I got some pearl barley. I have never cooked with this before, and I don't even, this was like the only one that I could find, and I only need like this much of it, so I hope I like it so I can incorporate more of that into our meal plan. I got some poppy seeds. Um, I have never tried this one. I don't know how it compares to the Chobani flips. I know this is regular yogurt and not Greek yogurt, so I'm thinking it's not gonna be as good as a snack. And I think Greek yogurt is better for you. I don't know, let me know if, if that's wrong. But this just sounded good and I wanted to give it a try. It's the cherry chocolate almond. Then I need some Grom masala. We're gonna be making our um, homemade butter chicken. And you guys, like seriously, I'm definitely gonna be buying my spices like this more often, exactly what I need, because this was only four cents for that. That's crazy. All right, I talked about these before and how I was good and I didn't pick them up, but I did. I had several people tell me that they are just really, really good. So I went ahead and I'm treating myself to some banana bread English muffins. I'm excited about these, but I was good and I only picked up one versus several to put in the freezer. I'm just gonna pick up one and that's it. All right, we got some pizza dough here. I'm actually gonna be making heart pizzas, little mini heart pizzas out of this for Valentine's Day. And then I got our favorite Duke's sausages. So they do not sell any of the flavored ones in bulk at Costco, but they do have these little bags at HEB. So I got the Hatch Green Chili, the chorizo and lime, and the hot and spicy. And these ones came with a coupon at HEB. For each one that you bought, you got a free box of popcorn. So my kids are set for a while. We've got the Orville Redenbachers is what the coupon was good for, and any of the six bags. So I got the ultimate butter, I got the movie theater butter, and the regular butter all for free. And they were just under $4. They were like $3.48 or 98 cents, I can't remember, but got these completely free just because we were buying those. I got some HEB brand cornflakes. I need this for a recipe. I wish I could have found a smaller bag, but I will just, hopefully the recipe turns out really well, or I'll just figure out other things that I can make with this cornflakes because my kids don't like this kind of cereal in the morning. So this is solely going to be for recipes. And last but not least is the Kerrygold Irish butter with canola oil in like the tub. So we buy the stick butters for like baking and um, to butter our corn and things like that. But we use this for anything that we need to like spread butter on. So we got a small thing of that and we don't really use um, butter like this that often we mainly just use it in baking so this is going to last us a really long time but again this was all from HEB and this total was $113. All right you guys so I showed you all the groceries and remember tomorrow is going to be the Sam's Club haul so that'll be the rest of our groceries for the month but I did meal plan for the entire month all of our dinners. Um, since I am still gonna be coming back on every Saturday with our like little fill-ins, hopefully they are very, very small. Um, I'm gonna share with you guys the actual meal plan for that week on that Saturday. So this is just this first week and breakfast we have, you know, basically the same. We have cereal, we have Pop-Tarts, we have oatmeal. Um, I bought some stuff for breakfast at Sam's and Costco. We have tons of eggs and bacon and 
waffles and all sorts of stuff in the freezer. So I never write down breakfast because it's always just unplanned. It's whatever we happen to have that morning. So on here, I just have our dinners and our lunches. And I did not write the days because I have a feeling I'm gonna be moving a lot of things around this month because of the way I planned. So these dates are February 5th to the 11th. And dinners are gonna be fried rice, Sloppy Joe's French fries and pickles, chorizo and egg casserole, butter chicken over rice with salad and non bread, stuffed chicken with Brussels sprouts. We had this, um, these are very keto friendly meals and it was absolutely delicious. So I knew we had to have it again. And then we have enough things to, or we had enough of the, or part of the recipe to make my homemade lasagna. So I just had to pick up a few things to help with that, so I went ahead and put lasagna on the list um, with a bag salad, and we are gonna have leftovers at the end of the week for lunch and dinner to try to start the next week fresh. That way I know exactly what I need to buy going into the next week for groceries. So our lunches, um, my husband and I are actually gonna have um, some seafood twice this week. We bought some scallops, so we're gonna have those. I also got some cod, so we're gonna have cod. And then two days, we're gonna have like a homemade Lunchable slash finger foods. And two days, we're going to have egg salad. And then like I said, whatever is left over the last day, we're kind of just gonna be eating leftovers and cleaning out our refrigerator. Now my son, um, I'm going to be making him Valentine themed kid lunches this week and I'm gonna film it and I'm gonna share that with you guys. So if you are looking forward to that, make sure you press the notification bell so you are notified when I upload um, if you guys are looking for Valentine themed lunch ideas for your kids. All right, so that is it. That is our Walmart and HEB haul for some of this is for the month and some of it is just for the next week. Like I said, because we spent so much um, and I didn't separate the grocery, like the totals that I told you was for everything. So that's not necessarily our grocery budget. Next Saturday when I have my fill-in haul, um, after I, my husband and I go through these receipts and separate it into their correct budget places, if that makes sense budgets. Um, I will let you guys know exactly how much we have spent on groceries so far in next Saturday's video. So with that, if you guys are new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. I will have any recipes linked down below that I have recipes for, for the meals that we're having this coming week and all of that good stuff in the description box. But hit that thumbs up button if you guys love grocery hauls and me sharing what my family of six are eating every week. And I will see you guys tomorrow with the Sam's Club haul. Bye.